means online. I think of Verizon, which is a, uh, a wireless carrier uh, in the United States, uh, or in the West predominantly, has Social Friday. So every day, people that uh, are a part of their uh, Facebook <coughs> fan page um, get a special deal or a special offer or a discount. So it's just an opportunity for them to say thank you in maybe not a huge way, but at least throwing out the offer there uh, that there's an opportunity for you to save or to get something because of your relationship with me. So I think it needs to be generous. I think it needs to be um, helpful as, or experimental as well. I'm sorry. Samsung uh, introduced uh, a, a 3D uh, projection onto the side of a, of a landmark building in, in Amsterdam um, to promote its uh, brand's 3D LED TV. So this was a unique projection, but they, they filmed that projection and then they subsequently did uh, a YouTube takeover with that particular video and it was all um, basically to, uh, to uh, advertise a, a game that was being developed uh, or a television that's been developed on 3D. So it was a bit of an interesting component where they videotaped something that existed in real life, did a video takeover uh, on YouTube all to demonstrate that this, that this was done in 3D technology. So you've got a bit of an interesting way of taking over one of our most important social media portals, which is YouTube. You need to be helpful. And I think Fiat did this in a very unique way. Uh, they de developed a website and an actual an application tool called Echo Drive, where through a thumb drive you could, that's installed in the car, you can actually download information onto your uh, desktop and you can share it with either your friends or the brand itself that actually helps you drive your car in a more effective manner. So as you upload this information to Fiat, they in turn uh, send you back information that can help you become more efficient, uh, a better driver, kind of no more of the double clutching if not necessary. Um, but it, it really was something that was meaningful um, and brands, I think, need to understand that, that they need to help people and people need to help them, but this needs to be a, a two-way street. We need to do it in unique ways that really kind of demonstrate the, the capabilities and the importance of the brand. Being playful, uh, one of the brands that, that I work on uh, in India is, uh, is Volkswagen. I'm sure all of you have seen uh, the Fun Theory, for the example of Fun Theory, where they basically try to uh, communicate to people that, that thinking about things in a new way can actually be fun. And I think one of the more innovative things they did was to, to place the, the piano keyboard on one of the more trafficked um, steps coming out of a subway or an underground station, uh, again, in Amsterdam. And I think it's just taking away uh, information from that that people can really kind of understand the fact that if you are presenting ideas, it can be fun to get feedback. And we've been able to leverage that in India with a fairly similar uh, prospect with Volkswagen. We've created a website and a social media platform where we're asking people for their ideas in ways to help India. Uh, in India, uh, there is a real lack of infrastructure uh, and there is a bit of a paralysis in terms of the government's ability to react to where India needs to go. So I think Volkswagen has taken upon itself to really kind of figure out a way for us to improve people's everyday lives uh, in India and they're asking for people's health. And it's just something that we just launched a few weeks ago and become uh, kind of the talk of, of, of Bombay specifically. But it, it runs along the same lines uh, of blue motion technologies and the fun theory where it's really about experimentation can be fun and ideas can be fun in themselves. I think be participatory is, is another uh, key element to being uh, to developing a culture that, that brands people want to belong to. Jimmy Choo, I think, was really one of the first times that I saw a, a major brand kind of embrace Foursquare. I think that they saw the fact that it's specifically in New York had become a bit of a phenomenon. So they wanted to figure out a way that they could take that, uh, that successful kind of energy that's there behind Foursquare and to really leverage it into sales and traffic within their stores. So they created uh, this treasure hunt within New York City where you had to track down uh, the free shoes that were in Jimmy Choo and it was actually uh, very, very successful for the brand uh, as well as for Foursquare.
be personal. Fire Arcade, um, a brand new, or I'm sorry, Arcade Fire, a brand new video game. I think this was one of the more unique opportunities that I've seen recently is if I were born, say, in Minneapolis, Minnesota, uh, I could actually use Google Maps and go back to my hometown. I could go back to um, actually the street or the house where I was born, and through the use of Google Maps and some of Google's technologies, I could see where my high school was, I could see the shops that were important to me, I could see where my friends' houses lived, and we could create a, a virtual video just by the use of Google Maps and the information that, that's, uh, that I supplied uh, growing up. So if I had specific addresses, specific locations and stores, I could create a video of my early days all through the use of different tools um, online. So I thought that was uh, a great example of being able to really kind of communicate and participate in people's lives as, as opposed to just saying that they fit. Be honest. Poor Tiger Woods. Uh, EA Sports, not long ago, uh, launched another version of its Tiger game, Tiger Golf, Tiger Woods Golf. And unfortunately, there was a glitch in the system where players were actually able to uh, to let Tiger Woods golf while he was standing on water. <laughs> and some of the key bloggers, gaming bloggers, caught on to this very quickly and began began kind of a, a viral attack on EA Sports. So, in a very honest uh, way, EA Sports came back with a viral video that they filmed that actually showed uh, him playing golf while standing on water. And I think it, it essentially, in a very polite way, kind of said in your face to the bloggers and said, this is our game. Unfortunately, there was a glitch, but, you know, despite the glitch, Mr. Woods can walk and play on water. So <laughs> I think we, we need to kind of have a sense of humor, but I think taking that sense of humor, I think we can convey this pretty honestly. Because in reality, if they would have been, if they had taken a different direction or a different tack with this particular issue or problem, it could have severely impacted uh, the credibility of EA Sports. The, uh, at that particular time, the reputation uh, of Tiger Woods but it also would have impacted sales. And I think what's happened is their reaction and their candidness and their tongue-in-cheek humor actually caused an explosion of sales because then people could see and actually play uh, with him uh, walking and standing in the water. <laughs> Be immediate. I think uh, Old Spice campaign is, is really an example of that. Uh, I think it's, a, it's not only is it one of the more compelling and interesting campaigns that's been done uh, in recent memory, both mixing and kind of blurring the lines between above the line and below the line, but I think what they did uh, is they created an opportunity for this sense of immediacy. So people were tweeting and posting, and in fact someone uh, asked if they could create a commercial that would ask his girlfriend to marry him. And they did a commercial, and in fact, ran that spot on both television and on YouTube where the, 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 the man that your girlfriend wants to have uh, actually asked someone um, to, uh, to be married. So I think it, it's just an example of, of how we can blur the lines between reality and what's actually happening and how we can use social media as this tool to be immediate. And I think when you see that sense of immediacy and you engage with a brand that's reacting that quickly to the, uh, to the impulses or to the wants or of, of, of consumers, I think that just lends more credibility and it makes you more comfortable about a brand and how it will treat you uh, as a consumer. Be kind. I think that's one of the last, and this was an example that, that my wife feels very, very strongly about. Uh, Tom's Shoes uh, sponsors basically a day without shoes. And in fact, every pair of shoes that you buy uh, so much of the, uh, a portion of the purchase price is given away to charity. And uh, even though Tom's, it's kind of ironic, even though Tom's are not available in India, uh, more shoes are given away by Tom's in India than any place else on the planet. So I think that even though they're not readily available uh, in stores, I think people are actually seeing uh, an impact and influence of this brand philosophy uh, globally. But I think it's very important to know that, that what Tom's does has started something. 
and I think there are now other brands that are doing similar situations, similar tactics uh, to create interest of their brand, but also demonstrate the fact that they're, they're approachable, and that they're important and they're relevant. The bottom line really is, uh, and I think I could I'll wrap this up, and uh, I, again, I've got a, a, a case study specifically on diesel for all 10 of these applications if you'd like to see it later. I just didn't want to take the time now. But the bottom line is, don't really think about how you can be social. Think about how you can belong in, in a social world. Um, and I think even more important than that is just think, think social and not just think Facebook. And to control your cow, give it a, a bigger pasture. And I think that's one of the, the key thoughts that I try to leave uh, with my clients. And I, and I built this presentation today kind of knowing that I'm speaking in India at, at a conference in just a few days, and I'd like to replicate this presentation. Um, I beg your pardon because it is perhaps a bit more basic than where we are currently in social media in this part of the world, but I really wanted to demonstrate the fact that social media is important uh, globally. I think it's, it's very, very nascent yet in, in where I'm working and where I'm living, but I think these particular aspects of social media, specifically the last 10, if we embrace those and we really kind of work with, uh, if you're a marketer, work understanding those key values as a brand, but if you're working within an advertising agency or a digital advertising agency specifically, specifically, I think it's important to understand that, that as you think of campaigns, as you think of marketing uh, tactics that are relevant to your brand, you probably can't use all 10 of them, but you should at least know that there are certain aspects of each brand's core value or culture that can be leveraged through these 10 points, and that we should think uh, long and hard about what that brand represents online, uh, specifically within social media, because I don't think within the last four months I've talked to any client or potential client about a website. Every conversation that I have is about an application, a, a tool, uh, social media in general, or analytics on the back end. The world that we live in uh, is rapidly changing. The world that I live in in India is probably changing exponentially faster just because of where we have been and where we need to go. But I think that as the world changes, we need to keep in mind the fact that each brand has a core value. Uh, each brand has consumers that believe in those core values and that want to belong to something that's bigger and more important or sexier than they are. So I think in leveraging some of these 10 uh, uh, gospel truths, I think will help us uh, keep moving forward. I appreciate your time.